welcome back so today's video is finally going to be me doing my coffee bar for christmas i don't know about you guys but i am so behind today is december 8th i have no christmas coffee bar i have no christmas tree i still have fall up in some areas and i have freaking halloween up you guys i'm so behind it's just i don't know it that cold that i had really put me out so yeah i'm really excited though i have everything to make my little christmas coffee bar um on my vanity so i am going to turn you guys around and show you guys everything that we're working with and then we're gonna get started there but if you guys are new here then hi i'm evita i film pink and girly stuff on this channel i film anything that's pink sparkly blingy pretty just anything like that so if that's anything that you're interested in then you should consider subscribing to my channel and just like join this awesomeness you guys also before we get started we have a sponsor today Yay, we love a sponsor so today's sponsor is anna luisa i have worked with them in the past you guys have heard me talk about them um they sent over some pieces so i want to show you what they sent me and also, they are running a sale right now, which is a perfect time for a sale. It's their winter holiday sale. Uh, so, I will have their link down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. But, I absolutely love their jewelry. They sent me three pieces. And, um, you guys, they come in the cutest little dust bags. And, I love the Christmas vibes. It's like red and green. Usually, the ones I got before were green and i think a gray one so i don't know why i like their little dust bag so much but i have been wearing this necklace probably like six or seven months like i never take this one off you guys have seen it in every video um i think this one's called q q me i don't know i will put it on the screen but guys i shower with this thing i sleep with it and it looks beautiful it's still nice and blingy and shiny you're not supposed to shower with it, I don't think. But that just tells you guys the quality of their jewelry. Like, and I just love how dainty it is. So the first piece that they sent me is this beautiful ring, you guys. Look at how pretty this ring is. Camera, are you going to be nice? There it is. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is so pretty. This is called Rope Pave and i got a size eight and i wanted it for this finger so let's see if she fits oh my god it fits perfectly so oh my gosh that is so pretty so it has like this rope detail and then it has like the bling in there so freaking gorgeous and that's the rest of it it's like a rope oh my gosh i love that i'm not gonna take that off that's so pretty i need to take the tag off so that I can wear this right now because I'm so happy it fits. I have like really weird shaped fingers. Like some are fat and nothing ever fits them. So happy that fits me. And let's see what else they got. So they asked, you know, what I wanted. And I, I sent them 10 options. So it's a surprise to me what, what they sent. They chose the three. Uh, this one, oh my gosh, this one had been on my wish list since the last time when I sent my request to them. This one is called Sour's Ass. Look at how pretty this is. It's like the most dainty little butterfly. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. I just love the daintiness of some of their necklaces because I like to layer my necklaces and look how beautiful that looks. So I'm definitely going to be using this butterfly. I probably will save this for around like spring or summer months and switch out my heart. But I just love hearts, so I wear them year round. It's because I'm such a loving person, you guys. Uh, but yeah, so from the packaging down to like all of their items, they are carbon neutral, which means they're very planet friendly. So I also love that about them. And this last one is called Gale. And this is a Star David. I'm not sure how many of you guys have been following me for a very long time. But I do have Jewish in me. So I really wanted to have this. 
uh, and I thought that would be so beautiful to layer. My mom always wore a uh, Star of David. My father was the Jewish one, and he gifted it to my mom, and I just remember her having the gold Star of David when I was little, and it just looked so beautiful on her, and I've always wanted one, so I was really excited to see this piece in their collection. I feel like they have very unique jewelry at Ana Luisa, and like I said, the quality is great, and obviously, you guys... You guys watch my videos. You guys know I n never take this necklace off. I've always had it on. So, and yeah, I shower with it. I sleep with it. And yeah. So don't forget to check out their winter holiday sale that they have going on now. It's from the 6th to the 20th. And I'll link their website down below. And I'm also going to put my discount code because they did send a code um, for 20% off too. So I will link that. Thank you, Anna Luisa, for these beautiful pieces and for sponsoring the video. So now I am going to show you guys everything that I have. You guys, my vanity is a mess. Um, give me a second. I'm going to turn you guys around and we'll get started. Okay, so this is, I pulled everything out. Also, you guys, it's a very gloomy day here. It's like raining and it's supposed to start snowing. Like, how do you go from rain to snow? Only in Chicago. So... I pulled everything out on my vanity. I went down in my basement where I keep all of my like decor and I brought out everything for the coffee bar. So all of my Christmas mugs are here. Um, the hot cocoa. Um, and then I got some stuff from Target. So if you guys saw my last couple of videos, I talked about this is going to be my theme. I found these pink peppermint candy cane napkins and I found the matching travel cups and that's what sparked the idea that I wanted to do like a candy cane theme peppermint so that's what we're gonna aim for so this is everything that I have out and then this I do have a couple of Christmas mugs I just literally stuck them there um I always take this tumbler out around Christmas time because it's like red and gold and then I do have my Santa tumbler. I have another Christmas mug. And I kind of just threw those there. But as you guys can see, I still have fall candy cane. Candy cane? Fall candy cane, really? Candy corn. And then I have like autumn babe and pumpkin spice and fall and another pumpkin spice. So I need to take those down. So I'm going to set you guys up. I'm going to get rid of the fall stuff. And I'm going to wipe down this whole area and then we'll start decorating. So let me try and prop you guys up somewhere wherever I think you guys will be able to see all of everything. Um, I'm trying to decide. I don't want to put you guys too far and then you guys can't see what I'm doing. And then I got all this stuff in the way. If I put you guys there, I think you guys will be able to see the entire coffee area. So, let's see, maybe I can, no, I can't zoom you guys in. All right, so, first things first, I need to take these off the wall because there are no more right now. I don't have any space on my vanity to put these but after I'm done filming I'm going to take those down to the basement also did you guys see no you guys can't see hold on I'm wearing my candy cane pajamas I thought that it would be very uh, appropriate since it is uh, a candy cane themed and I'm burning up we went to take my daughter to school and it's raining out. So I had on some pink, my pink furry spurry boots. And I had on this pink hoodie to match and some joggers. And I got home runny. I was like, babe, I got to put on my pink pajama pants, my candy cane pajama pants so I can film. And he's like, why? And I was like, because it's just the whole vibe. I'm going to remove this. Everyone always asks questions where I got this candy jar from. Um, gumball machine. This is from Macy's. 
it was a little bit more pricier uh, than the ones that are like at Target for like $5. But it is very beautiful. It's pink. This is this is glass. And this part's like plastic too. But it's really beautiful. I don't remember the brand. Um, Golden. Goldinger silver art co limited yeah something like that but i think this was like almost 50 dollars. i could be wrong but i got it on sale when i did buy it so coffee break i'm using my beautiful ginger girl tumbler from ssx customs i linked this in my last video and of course i'm drinking peppermint mocha um okay so i'm going to remove this little tray i don't know if i'm going to keep this my little spoon tray on the coffee bar right now and i don't know why i always have the need to tie a little knot a little bow on this thing i don't know i found that ribbon somewhere and i just use it also don't judge me i don't have i didn't bring up any disinfecting wipes so i'm using a makeup wipe to just get the dust off of this area these are the uh the halloween wipes and i was trying to get rid of them anyway because they were almost done and i want to take out the christmas ones I'm just wiping this shelf down. And I'm going to also be removing this a mug rack thing that I have going on for right now. I don't know if I'm going to keep that going. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys, um, I am supposed to be announcing the giveaway winner for this giveaway in this video. Uh, I have not gone through the entries and chosen anyone. So what I'm planning on doing is after I film this, um, I'm probably going to insert it at the end of the video, um, yeah, like another slide or something. And then I wanted to have another giveaway for you guys. And I also didn't have time to put that together. So I'm hoping that by the time I get to editing this, there will be a giveaway there for you guys. So you guys stay tuned and see at the end of the video. All right. We're going to get started. I'm going to start putting stuff. I don't even know how to do this. But I have a, a lot of mugs still have the tags in there so I'm just gonna start taking these off and I'm not even gonna worry about pilling these unless they show um, I usually do that when I get ready to use them so I have this little ginger one already here she kind of fits perfectly because of the way this hook is a big mug doesn't really fit because of that show so I'm gonna try and keep those like that I like the uh, Christmas tree right there uh, I had something I was going to put on that shelf and I can't remember. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to be switching out the candy jar and get rid of the gold one. I'm going to use this little iridescent one that was at Target. Uh, this one was the $5 ones. So I had these in, 
I have two white ones. I have two clear, clear ones. And then I have two iridescent ones. So um, I never painted any to the pink color. I'm just hoping that around Valentine's Day I get those. And I kind of like having all the colors. Just depends what, what I'm in the mood for. So in this Target bag, I have these peppermint, polar peppermint Dunkin' K-Cups that I'm going to be putting out. Got those from Target. And then I got two bags of these pink marshmallows. They're by Wonder Shop. They're holiday mellows and they're peppermint flavor. So I'm going to fill one of the bags in that candy jar. And then I got these. These are my favorite day. It's the same brand as the whipped cream. Um, they're peppermint marshmallows and they have chocolate chips on top. So those sound so good. So, let's see what these look like. Maybe these should go in the, the gumball machine. So, with my gumball machine, the gold one that I have, that one actually is a gumball machine. Like, you get the candy out through the bottom. But the Target ones, it's like a, a lid on top. You have to open it. It's more like a cookie jar. I can't open this. Some powder came out of there. Hmm. So no, I'm not gonna put this in there because it's very um powdery. It's like almost like a sugared powder dust. I feel like it's like the stuff that goes on top of funnel cake. So this is what it looks like. Mm. <laughs> Might as well taste them. Mmm. Whoa, that has a real a real peppermint kick. That's good. So I am going to open up these. And I'm gonna just put some in there. Oh, wow. I thought it was just going to fill up the top, but I might be able to get the whole bag in because they're going all the way down to the bottom. That's kind of cool. I don't know why. I just thought it was going to fill up the top part. So let me sit this down and fill it up because it's kind of hard to do it with one hand. Wow. The whole bag fit in here, you guys. The entire bag fit in there. Look how pretty they look. I'm going to eat another one from this kind. I got to taste these too. Mmm. So I'm almost wondering if I should have used the clear clear because with the iridescent they kind of look pink. But I just thought the iridescent one would look pretty because it's also like um, Christmassy. I feel like it's like giving like winter wonderland vibes. So... Um, I think I'm going to have to move that. That's why when I put this mug there, I was like, wait, something else goes there. I usually put my candy, my little jar there. So I'll put that there. I want to make sure I have room to open this without the mug being in the way. So that's cool there. Unless I put it on top of the coffee bar. Are you guys close enough? I feel like you guys aren't. I was saying, I don't know if I should put that on top of the Keurig or put it up on the shelf. So let's just keep working and see. I want to move you guys over here and I don't have anything to put you guys on. Let me see if I pull my vanity drawer out and put you guys in there. Can you guys see closer? Hold on, guys. Let me uh, work with you guys for a second. Is that better? Can y'all see? I think that's better. Only thing is now I can't see what you guys can see. 
Hold on. I did. I'm supposed to do it that way. There we go. I will adjust you guys to that part when we get there for now. Let me put you guys like that. Um, Alright. Back to taking tags off of mugs and hanging mugs up. Another Christmas tree mug. This one's kind of like, I don't want to say boring, but I feel like it doesn't need to be, I don't know, like a focal one, like in the middle. So then I have this pretty nutcracker one. I also have, um... This nutcracker one. Oh my gosh, they look so cute. I love my little nutcracker mugs. Um, I have pink Santa. This is the one from Hobby Lobby from last year. And... I don't know what I'm going to do with this tumbler. I'm thinking of putting it, um, removing something from my tumblers at the top. Like up here, one of the Starbucks, and throw the red one for the holidays to give it that like pop of color. I'm going to take this coffee mug down off of the Keurig because we're going to put something more Christmassy instead of that. I like this mug and I kind of like the green and white ribbon. I think I'm going to keep that on there and try and just take the little tag part off but keep the ribbon tied. Yeah, that worked. So I actually want to see how that would look there. I think I need to uh, retie the ribbon, but for now, I think I'm going to put that one up there because it says joy and it's very Christmassy. Um, I also have this pretty Hello Kitty hot cocoa. I think I'm going to put that up on the stand with the gumball hot cocoa and marshmallows. Oh. My favorite thing that I have is this beautiful peppermint mug. Like, how cute is that? This is the handle. I found this at Macy's, and it's actually pink. This is pink and red and white. I don't know if the camera's picking up the pink, but I just love this, and I thought, how perfect for my candy cane theme. So I'm going to put that on the actual Keurig because I think it would look nice there. And I need to get rid of this hat that's been hanging here and this fall colored purse. It's like throwing everything off. Um, let's see what else. I'm also planning on moving a lot of the mugs at the bottom. I gotta fill this space right here with something small because um it's like too plain so i do have this other like hot chocolate thing so let me get the tag off of this and see where we can put this oh they put a whole bunch of glue oh, on the bottom of this thing yikes Ugh. all right I had a garbage bag somewhere and I lost it, so I'm just throwing everything on my floor as usual. Alright, so what I want to do is I think 
this candy is throwing it off so I think I want to remove that one and oh gosh hold on I gotta be careful with all this glass on my vanity I don't want to break my vanity top so this is the snowman I was telling you guys that I had and that there was one that had red peppermints so I think I'm gonna take the red peppermints off and switch the bottom the colored candy and make my own little set guys they went up in price look at the candy cane price from the snowman said it was $6.99 and look this year it was $7.99 see we're not crazy inflation on everything I just love that she has a pink bow and that looks so cute with the candy cane because it keeps the theme like candy cane so Let's see what we can do. All right, that's a little too high. Maybe we can put her there and then put hot cocoa there. That works. And then I still need something small there. And I have this pretty little, what are these trees called? Um, bottle tree. And it has this cute little peppermint at the bottom and a peppermint and a snowflake at the top i found this on etsy for like a few dollars so i ordered it because i knew it would look really cute up here so i'm just gonna put that there to fill that little gap that looks so cute you guys i love it okay so i need still two more mugs up there so let's put those in um I'm thinking I'm going to put the peppermint mocha and the hot cocoa ones up there. Um, Because I don't want to put all of my Christmas ones up. Like my pink Christmas ones up too high. Let's see. Um, I don't know if I like that. Let me see. I want to have a peppermint mocha one, the red. I want some red in the coffee bar to kind of pull out, like, the peppermint. So I think I'm going to put that one a little bit lower. Maybe I'll put this other Christmas tree up top. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really like that pink in that Christmas tree. I think this is a mug that's going to go underneath the coffee bar. So let me put that to the side. Um, I also have this cute snowman, but I don't know that I want this hanging either. Um, let me take the paper out of here and see. No, definitely don't want him up there. He's too cute. So, he needs to come down. Let's see. Oh, that one looks cute. Maybe I'll just put my little gingerbread one up there. I kind of like that. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Now I'm like debating if I should put the red one up there and put the pink one down. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Also, let's see. I need to switch this, but remember I was like I won't take this tag off unless it's in the way. It's in the way and it's showing. So now I need to get this tag off. It's really hard to do with the nails. And not water. Usually when I'm washing them, I put dish soap on them. But. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Don't you guys hate that when you get like almost all of it off and then a little bit stays? It's like, no! Do, do, do. Okay, guys, seriously. 
Okay, I got it. I got it. Now the sticker is all stuck to my finger. Okay, I love that. I'm obsessed. Okay. Are we done? No, we're not done. I still have to do the bottom part. I want to put something on this hook. I'm wondering if Santa's going to go on that hook. He's too big. The snowman's too big. Um, do I have anything else that... Oh, you guys know what? I do have another freaking peppermint mocha. I have another peppermint mocha mug somewhere, and I don't know where it is. Should I put out one of my red Starbucks cups from Cup Day this year? I think the red really looks cute. I'm going to put that up there for now. But I do want to hang something. Should I put the peppermint mug hanging? No. Nothing is kind of fitting on here because it needs to be. Oh my gosh, I thought that was about to fall and it gave me a heart attack. So maybe I'll hang him there. So you guys know what I forgot to bring up. Oh, so annoying because I don't want to go down to my basement right now. It's so hot. I forgot to bring my freaking candy cane for her vanity organizer. I was going to put that up here. I don't know if I want this Santa mug out this year. The one from Hobby Lobby, it's more of a, like a peachy color and it kind of throws stuff off. Maybe I'll put the snowman and put him down below. Because at first I was going to put the nutcracker because it like has the Tiffany color in here and it's my Tiffany carrot. But I feel like the Tiffany on Tiffany is a little too much too. So maybe I'll put the snowman. And then can you guys see I stack my Santas. I always have to stack mugs. I just think they look so cute. Stack. So they're probably going to stay here. I was going to put my for her vanity little candy cane organizer and put the k-cup inside and i left that down in my basement so i might have to stop the video run down and get that and then come back but we'll do that in a minute i'm going to open these up and the napkins oh my gosh everything is just taped way too good So these I found at Marshall's for $4.99 and the brand is Sheffield Home. like is that tag any different sorry i was just trying to show you guys the tag if you guys wanted to try and look warm i'll give you guys the full effect so that's what it looks like this is very hard to read because they put it in white um, but it says visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. It's very, very, I could barely read it in person. So, and yeah, it's just so pretty. So that's what it looks like. I'm probably going to use one of these, uh, today, even though I have my coffee in a travel mug already, I just want to like use it. So, I don't know, it's so cute. I feel like I wanted to stack these too, like with the Starbucks cup and that. But they don't fit under the shelf unless I take the lid off. Then it would fit. Okay. 
I don't know. That's too much. Never mind. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put these cups somewhere. Where are we going to put the cups, guys? Where are we going to put the cups? The whole point of these uh, cups were what made this theme for me, so I got to display the cups. Maybe I could put that in that candy, um, that candy cane organizer that I need to go down and grab. And I don't know why I still have these, I have these freaking curtain rods in this corner. Sorry, y'all. Um, and then I have the napkins also to open up. So let's do that. I have my Santa Baby um, tumbler also, but I don't think I'm going to use that up here because it's a wine glass. And I actually want to use it. I don't want it for decor. I bought it to use it, so probably going to put that uh, downstairs. I think I'm going to just throw the napkins right in front because that looks really pretty there. And... Let's see. I do have this beautiful Ray Dunn mug that says Snow Day. And I think I'm going to use this to decorate like one of my Tiffany uh, shelves. So I don't think I'm going to put this on the coffee bar. And I have this Baby It's Cold Outside. Super cute. It's clear. It has snowflakes with bedazzles in the middle. And pink lettering this is from cute creations by melly and let's see if i like that one yeah. that one's probably gonna go on the bottom i have a couple that i'm like sitting in front of the bottom until we get down there uh what else oh this was supposed to go down there as well so i have four mugs down there so far that are gonna go um Everything is off of my vanity now. Much. Um, these marshmallows, I wasn't going to pour in here. This is that, like, coffee, so that's not going to be displayed. This is the wine glass that I was saying. This is Santa, Santa's favorite. It's a wine tumbler, but I want to actually use that. This is just garbage. That I'm going to replace a Starbucks. This is more just garbage. And then that's that other snowman that we're not using this year. Um, that, like I said, is going to go on a Tiffany shelf. This is the coffee I'm drinking. And I don't know what I'm doing with that. So pretty much we used everything that we're supposed to use. Um, I'm going to stop for a second. I'm going to run down to my basement and get that. Um, where y'all at? The basement and get that candy cane thing so we can put that up. Oh, and then I also have these santa little espresso things so let's open these up and see what we're gonna do with this oh i can just bend the box and bring them out look how cute they are they're so tiny hold on guys let me show you how tiny it is oh my gosh so cute so where's the pink one so it has a purple one a Tiffany colored one, a pink one, and then a blue one. Eh. So, here is the blue one, and here's the purple one. And then here's the pink and the Tiffany color. So you can see the blue and the Tiffany are different and the pink and the purple are different. So I think I want to put the Tiffany. Oh gosh. I think I'm going to put the pink one and the Tiffany one out. They're so cute. I like that they're small because I can put it like right in front of the coffee cup and it doesn't really like cover up anything. So maybe I'll put the little 
little Santa next to the y'all can't even see what I'm doing come on guys get with the program y'all gotta adjust yourselves so I put the little pink one here in front of that and it looks cute so I don't know maybe I'll keep them out they look so cute we'll see if it's too much um in the end but I really didn't want to put the purple and the blue one out because those aren't the colors so we'll see i'm gonna run down and get that thing and i will be right back you guys Whew. all right now that i'm all out of breath hot and sweaty this is what i was talking about how cute right because it's candy cane and it's pink and white and i thought it was cute um so this is from for her vanity one of her previous year's christmas collections so i want to put that where my little coffee um like that mug rack used to be i wanted to put that there so i'm gonna put that there and i also ordered something from amazon it didn't come today is friday and of course it said it was gonna come tomorrow but i needed to film today while i had time so if it this video isn't going up to Sunday if it arrives um, and I do put it in I'll put a insert a picture but I ordered the little holder that goes on the side of your Keurig I ordered a pink one that you can put some of these down in um, but look how cute I thought these were gonna be adorable because I got the ones with the pink uh, I think Starbucks peppermint mocha had a red and I really love peppermint coffee, so I went with Duncan um, because they were pink. So I'm going to use this, and I'm just going to stack some in there. And really, really coffee work with me. So. I'm just going to stack them like that and see how many I can get in there. And then when that other thing comes from Amazon, I'll put the rest of them in there. And then if I have any left, because I think this is, there's 22 in here. Honestly, I make my coffee in my kitchen most of the time. So... I am going to put some down there too if I have any left. I'm trying to turn these a certain way so that I can fit more. So if you like face one down and then face one up, they fit in here better. Y'all, I am sweat. Dang. I went running down to my basement and then of course it always happens that way that where you think something is it's not really yet so that's how it looks there's 6 12 I was able to fit 12 in here so I'm gonna put this back that looks really freaking cute only problem is I was like I'm gonna use that for the travel things uh yeah that didn't happen you know what? I could probably stack these higher because there's so much candy cane happening. Yeah, I can stack these higher. That way you can actually see them sticking out the top. I like that. I only got four left. Um, so... Now, I don't know if my Santa mugs are going to look cute there, the two big ones, because they're kind of blocking that. And I told you guys, I really like my Santas to be stacked. So, these are probably going to get moved up here. And this little travel thing is going to get bumped out of the way. Mm-hmm. 
No. There we go. Alright. So. So far. It's looking real snazzy, you guys. Real snazzy. So the only um, problem, the thing that I'm not liking so far is the snowman because I have uh, my Christmas Santa tumbler back there in the red and the snowman is pink and blue so I feel like I need something with red there um, instead of the snowman so let me try to Hello Kitty's not really Christmassy but she has this red bow um, but I don't think she's a Christmas mug. I mean, she's so cute though, but new. No. Um, I wish I had one more mug that was like, oh, I said I wish I had one more that was pepperminty. Alright guys, y'all can just listen to me while I try to find this other you guys know i have these totes on this little shelf and i told you that if you guys can hear that i i keep some mugs in here and look at that peppermint mocha so maybe that there we go that literally just did it do i have any more christmas ones in here before i put this away oh my god i do the freaking ginger one. I have to take that out. And let's see what else I need to take out of here. Okay, that's it. There's Valentine's Day ones in here. Should I stick anything in here while I'm putting this back? Let me put this uh, one that says coffee in here to fill this spot. So nothing falls and I think that's it let's see um I'll put this sweetie mug in here too all right let me put this back on my shelf Woo! I am sweating you guys All right, um, yeah, I really like the way that looks with the peppermint mocha there. Um, so that one's different from the one I got this year. See, this one um, has a white handle, and it says peppermint mocha in red. And the inside is red. That one's red inside, but the handle is red, and the lettering is black. So they were different. Um, I knew they were different when I bought this year's. And this one I actually bought from someone, and when it arrived, it has a hairline, um, a hairline crack somewhere. Oh, here it is. Can you guys see it? You see that little crack? Uh, it doesn't want to focus, but it does have a very thin crack in it, and I wasn't planning on using it. It's just for decor. So that's why I wanted to make sure I got that one because I want to use it. So yeah, so I really like that. Let me show you guys how everything's looking so far. So I have all of my Christmas mugs hanging. And this is what the top shelf looks like with the hot cocoa, the ginger mug, the little tree, the marshmallows, her eye is covered. Why are you hiding your face, little girl? And then I have that Joy mug. And I just wanted to have this tumbler out because it's very Christmassy. But that might go down in my kitchen. I'm not sure. Um, and then the little Tiffany Santa. He looks cute there. And then now I was able to have my mug still stacked. And it doesn't really get in the way when you open the coffee pot. It's not in the way at all. 
and then I just hung up the little Christmas tree one and that's what the K cups look like in there and then I just have the candy cane mug sitting there and I could push that close um, the little pink espresso one the napkins the travel cups and the lids so yeah and then like I said I ordered the little pink hanging thing that could still fit in there but I don't think I need it right now because all the k-cups fit in there so I was trying to keep it a little this way so I could have space to put that in but I'm not gonna probably put that in so I could scooch this back over a little bit so the bowl shows so now we need to put our Christmas mugs down here so whew, let me um stand you guys up down here and don't be looking at the mess on my floor you guys all right So I just wanted to put the rest of these Christmas mugs down here uh, so that they're like front and center. I'm probably gonna get rid of like anything that's like right in the front just because those are what's gonna be seen so that Christmas tree and the nutcracker that nutcracker y'all he's cute and all but the Tiffany color I, I usually keep my pink mugs down here I wanted that Tiffany to be displayed up there but he's not working so good I wanted to stack because I didn't want the back to look so busy. I like when my mugs can stack. And like I said, this uh she's not Christmassy, but I feel like the red bow will still work. So I might keep this one down here instead of putting it away you guys this is the life of a freaking mug hoarder uh, this is what happens when you have too many mugs you have to like play the fitting game so I'm sure y'all are like that's a lot of mugs and it definitely is but hey, whose side are y'all on? Are y'all on my side or my husband's side? Y'all are supposed to be on my side, okay? We're team mugs. Ah! Don't break. You know what? This Christmas tree mug. I'm kind of not even feeling it. It's not even like a pink pink. Maybe I'll put this in my kitchen. I think I'm going to put that one in my kitchen and use it. Oh, I have mugs down in my kitchen I was supposed to bring up. I have my... Christmas vibes only and my snow day is okay. I need to have Christmas mugs in the kitchen too. Otherwise, my husband will really talk about me. He's like, are they only for display? Okay, Hello Kitty. Okay, now I feel like it's too plain and I should have left some of my regular mugs in here to fill it up. Hot mess express. Hot mess. You know, that's kind of cute because it's like instead of the polar express, it's the hot mess express. The only thing I hate about some of them is they're not two sided. So if I want this handle to peek out on this side, it doesn't really work because it doesn't say anything on that side. So it always messes me up. And then I have to play the game that I'm playing and this baby is cold outside isn't two-sided either 
and it fits perfectly, but now you can't see it. If I like turn it, it's fine. It's fine. Let's try and fit you in there, and then we'll be done with the top shelf. Kind of. Yeah, that's fine. I want it to show better. All right, and now we just have this pretty snowman and Santa. What's that look like, you guys? Does that look good? I think it's fine. It's the bottom of my coffee station. It just gives just Christmas going on vibes. And I can't really fit anything on top of Santa's head. So um, this is what I have left to put away. I'll put these in my basement um, for the time being. And hold on. We'll put those in the basement for the time being. Can I put a crown on Santa? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, you guys. The crown fits on top of Santa's head. How cute. Cute is that. Hi, Santa. He's King Santa. Okay. I like that because it, like, filled a little bit of the space. So, oh, you know what? Sorry, guys. What if I put the one without the black dots? That looks better, right? Instead of the one with the black dots. Yeah, we'll put this one on my queen mug up there. And we'll put that one. I like that better. Okay. So, um, this is going to go in the kitchen. Let me stand up and give you guys one final look. Um, let's go over to my vanity, actually, and make sure we use everything. So, yeah, I didn't want to put those colors out. And I'm going to put these down in my kitchen. I just got to clear that garbage. And, yeah, we used everything. I have an extra bag of the peppermints that I can use um, when I finish these. But, sorry, I got, my, I got my house shoes right here where I was sitting. But, yeah, that's what it looks like in the end. Um, I need to put those mugs away. And when I start decorating my room for Christmas, I'm going to put something there in that space because it's kind of blank. Um, and I'm going to move that box because I've been trying to take like little mirror pictures, but I always have too much going on down there that you can't even see the whole outfit. So I think I want to leave that clear, but I will probably put something in just that corner. Um, so you guys know what would have been really cute. I did not ever find it and I did not want to pay the money that Mercari and Poshmark were asking, but there was a little nutcracker um, by Peppermint and Pine, and it was like a, I want to say a darker pink color, and like red, and it had a peppermint at the bottom, and he was so cute. He would look so cute standing right next to the coffee bar, but yeah, I didn't get him. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think it turned out good? The only thing I didn't do, but I have to get a ladder, is... I'm probably going to switch out one of those cups and imagine a red one. So I can't go on this shelf because the Starbucks tumblers are too big, the regular ones. So it's probably going to go in one of these spots. Probably going to take the one that looks more purpley out and put the red one there. Actually, I don't need the ladder for this shelf. Um, But yeah, this one has like, like a pink ish purple hue to it so maybe that's the one i like that it has like a little peppermint um straw too which i put in there by the way so yeah so there now i put the little red cup to fit in like my pops of red here and there so what do you guys think guys do you like it? I also need to put a sign up here. But like I said, I haven't done my full Christmas in my room yet. And all of my Christmas signs are in my, my totes. So I need to bring that stuff down. So yeah, I I think it looks really good. It's Christmas vibes over here now. And I kind of want to make a hot cocoa. But I have my coffee already. Which is probably cold. Well, not really because it's in that tumbler. Um... Yeah, I like it. Is it giving candy cane peppermint vibes? What do you guys think? 
I'm gonna take this off. This looks dumb. Oh, it's in a knot and I can't get it right now. I need to take it off. But this first drawer is where I usually keep like my straws and like my other travel mugs. Oh, I have sprinkles, but they're Valentine's ones. I forgot about those. Yeah, this is like the coffee drawer, the extra candy cane. I put it in a Ziploc. Um, sometimes I don't eat it. It's for decor. My daughter likes to eat it. And I think I started putting some stuff down here because I had bought too much. These are supposed to be my spare brushes, but I bought too much at Halloween time. So I had two packs of the Halloween towels, uh, towels, Halloween napkins. So those are in there. But yeah, this is the drawer where I usually put my extra travel lids and stuff. And then those are the makeup brushes. So yeah, I need to take that little string off though. But what do you guys think? I think it came out really cute. Um... But I am going to end the video here. And like I said, I will, um, I'm going to end the decorate part here. I'll come back on and talk about the giveaway information in a minute. And I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions. And I, I think it looks so cute. I love it. All right. I have like coffee mugs you guys everywhere like see I have like on this little shelf thing I have those that's why I was saying I'm probably gonna use this uh boss or boss day snow day mug probably like here somewhere uh like to decorate or maybe I'll remove boss day and put this one I keep, why do I keep saying boss day boss mom and put the snow day one um yeah, to make it more Christmassy in here. I can't wait to put my Christmas tree up. I am so behind, you guys. I feel like maybe some, like, garland would be cute around there, too. But, okay, I'm going to go. I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hey, guys. So, it's the next day, and I wanted to finish up the video. So, I wanted to do the giveaway with you guys that I told you guys I would be doing. Um, So, first, we're going to choose a winner for the giveaway I have going now for the three-piece makeup bag the juicy couture makeup bag um, and then we will do a new giveaway so um, I'm gonna turn you guys around I have my computer set up we're going to do it together I have my coffee and yeah so give me a second <clears throat> I'm in editing mode right now um, also I wanted to oh you guys look I changed my necklace I put the star David on and it's so beautiful I love the way it looks I love where it falls at because like I said I like to layer necklaces so I like where it is um and I still have on the ring I kept it on all day yesterday it's so comfortable it's so freaking blingy I love it so don't you guys forget to shop their winter holiday sale it's like literally perfect time to shop right now and it's you guys still have time to get presents for Christmas because they ship really fast so if you guys have not thought of like that special mom or aunt or sister uh, or your best friend, you guys need to shop so. So I will have everything, like I said, linked down below. And thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring the video. Now let's find a giveaway winner. How am I going to do this? Hold on, y'all. We're going to do the old famous. I'm going to put you guys inside of my drawer. Hold on, okay? All right, guys, so I got you guys all turned around. So now we are just going to go on to um, the internet. And I already pulled up the video that had the contest. It was the one where I was doing my This Is Trash, my October, November empties. Um, so I copied the URL to this video. And then I just opened another tab. It says YouTube Random Comment Picker. I've never used this before, so you guys bear with me. Um, it says it's a free... Um, usually I do that spinning wheel, but I have to like go through all the comments, put everyone's name in and it's time consuming. I think this might be easier. Um, so it says YouTube comment picker, enter YouTube video, select which comments to include or exclude, select raffle, select raffle options and pick one or multiple random winners for our YouTube contest. 
So the video URL, I'm going to paste it here. And then it says get YouTube comments. It says there's 44 comments. Um, and then include comments. No, filter duplicate names. Uh, filter comments on specific text. No, exclude entries. Okay, so none of that. So now we're going to go to... It says number of winners. We just have one winner. So it says... It's asking me to select two options. It says same name or winner possible in one draw when using multiple users. That doesn't apply because we're not using multiple winners. And then it says add contest information to results. Title, intro, login, logo. Add contest information. I don't know what that means. Um, all right. We are just going to hit start raffle and pick winners. Are you guys ready? I'm going to, I don't know if you guys can see really good, so I'm going to bring it a little bit closer, and we're going to press this one. Winner, Alexa Tracy. It says, I would love to be entered in this giveaway. It's my first Christmas as a mom, and any item would be awesome. I also have an Instagram, and I follow you. Aw, Congratulations. First Christmas as a mom. That's awesome. I remember when I had my baby. She was born in October. So that's truly like an awesome uh, first Christmas. All right. So we have a winner. Congratulations, Alexa Tracy. Thank you so much, girl, for your support and for following me on here and on Instagram. Um, since you have Instagram, uh, try and contact me since you follow me. Um, send me a message so that I can get your address. Um, that way we know it's all legit because these scammers, um, also I don't think in the title of this video that I am, um, working on right now is going to say anything about giveaway winner or new giveaway. I think I'm going to refrain from putting giveaway in my titles of my videos going forward because I don't know how the scammers are out there. They either are looking for videos with giveaways in the title or in the hashtags. So um, I'm going to refrain from using that. So um, we're done picking our winner. And now I am going to show you guys the new giveaway. Um, and then we will be done with the video. Um, I'm going to take a quick coffee break. I am using the Christmas tree. Remember when I was doing the coffee bar yesterday? I was like, I don't know about this when it's going downstairs in the kitchen. Because it was like not fitting anywhere and then it didn't go right anywhere on the top. Um, because you guys know I'm doing like the peppermint candy cane vibes. And I was trying to keep it like a certain aesthetic up there. So anyway, my coffee's been sitting for a while. We had Chinese food for dinner and I had to put it away. So today's giveaway is going to be a surprise. I'm just joking. I'm going to show you guys what it is. You guys are going to be twinning with me. Um, it's going to be this beautiful nutcracker a mug that has the Tiffany blue. If you guys have been following me, you guys know I'm a lover of all things Tiffany. So I especially love this mug. And then it's so Christmassy. And I thought this would be appropriate since our theme of this whole video is decorate my coffee bar with me. So what better than to give away a coffee mug? So this is the mug. It's already wrapped. I had bought two when I went to the store. Um, I was like, I asked my bestie if she wanted it while I was still in the store. And she said no, but I kept it in the cart because I knew that either someone was on the hunt for it or I would it would come in handy for a giveaway. So um, that's what you guys will win. Also, you guys know me. Uh, if you guys will... I don't think I've ever sent anything to Alexa before, but if you guys have won multiple giveaways or I just have a lot of friends out here that I send packages to, I always throw in extra. So don't think you're just getting a mug. You guys are going to get like a box full of goodies. Um, I'm probably even going to add this extra bag of the pink marshmallow so that you guys can have peppermint mocha coffees with me. So I'm probably going to put that down there. Plus it'll help cushion the mug from breaking. Um, I will wrap it very carefully and 
I know there's going to be a lot of uh, stuff that I'm excited to throw in there. Uh, so all you guys have to do for this giveaway is basically going to be the same thing. Um, I don't know if I even want you guys to say I'm entering the giveaway because I, I just don't want the word giveaway anywhere. Um, I just don't know how to get these scammers, um, away from my video. Uh, so I think you guys, how about doing an emoji? If you guys made it this far in this video, then you guys are going to be the only ones who know what we're talking about. And you guys are the ones who like fully support me. So you guys will know. Um, what emoji do Android and iPhone, because, um, I have Android and a lot of times people be putting these emojis and I'm like, what, what is that? So let's just do coffee cups since this was a decorate my coffee bar with me, um, to enter the giveaway, just leave me a coffee emoji. Just leave your regular comment. Um, Hey V, I I like this video or whatever, or I don't like this video or what your favorite thing was. Did you guys like the coffee bar? Leave a comment and end it with a coffee mug a coffee mug means you guys are entering and i will keep this giveaway running again until next sunday and we will do the same thing uh next sunday i believe tomorrow is the 11th so seven it will be the 18th so on december 18th video i will do the same thing i will put uh we'll do this whole thing and pick a winner in there and I will probably have another giveaway for you guys. Um, honestly, I'm going to try and do as many of these as I can. Um, I have so much stuff that I've been like collecting that I want to give to you guys. Um, and I already know what I'm including in the next giveaway. And it's going to be really exciting. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, and also, I should say this. But if you guys didn't win this giveaway, don't be discouraged. Because like I just said, I'm going to have several giveaways coming up. Um, I do appreciate everyone for supporting me and um, again, don't forget to check in the description box for all the information to Anna Luisa. Their holiday sale is December 6th, which has already started through the 20th and you guys still have time to get your loved ones or yourself a gift um, and... If you guys are going to get anything, I highly, highly recommend this ring. It is so freaking beautiful. Um, so beautiful. I wish I didn't have a freaking, um, what do you call those things? A scab. Like I cut myself and I have a little scab. So annoying. But yeah. So pretty. I cannot stop looking at it. And it just looks so pretty when you have on nails. Because y'all know I don't be wearing my nails all the time, but... The fact that I have on nails right now and I have the ring. It's so freaking pretty. Okay, I'm going to stop. Um, yeah, I think that was everything we were supposed to do for the video. I honestly feel... Oh, you know what? I wanted to show you guys. I did get in the little K-cup things, but I'm happy um, I didn't wait for these. Because I'm not going to put these on um, right now. I like the way the candy cane organizer from For Her Vanity looks. And also, um, I'm not sure... I know she has a new Christmas collection this year. I don't know if she brought back the candy cane organizer, but I will have her um, link down below as well, plus my discount code, because I do have a code with her where you guys can save some money. So these are the little things that go on the side of your Keurig, and you just slide the K pods in here, the, the K cup pods in here. But what I was saying was um, I did not know that these have 3M tape on them, so you have to peel this and actually, like, stick it. I didn't know that. I thought they were going to have a little hook that you, like, hang from the inside. So I'm going to have to, like, clear everything up so I can have room to, like, stick this. And it tells you this is up, so it actually goes like this. You pull it, and then you just stick them. And it comes with a two-pack, which is cool because I think they hold about... Maybe five in each one. Four or five. I would say five. It looks like it could hold five. Or maybe that's why they have these four things here. One, two, three, four. Um, so yeah. So they also come in other colors. Um, they have black, gray, mint, or Tiffany. White. Uh, I think that's gray also. Pink and red. And they might have more colors too. Not really sure. But yeah. 
these did come in. I won't be using them for my coffee bar right now, but I'm sure I will put them on eventually. And yeah, I'm going to end the video because it's super, super long. Congratulations again to Alexa. And don't forget to enter to win yourself this beautiful nutcracker mug. All right, guys. I love you guys. Talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.